Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with my SSF character since I know I haven't really made too much content on that. So, uh, we have been playing this character now for about two days and six hours and I'm really happy with it. Um, I've taken a different approach to the POB or like the trade league versions that you'll see. You notice this character has 8,000 life and it can actually go up quite a bit more. Now, this may look good, but of course this comes with a big downside where my single target is like half of what it would normally be. Maybe not half, maybe like 35%. And the purpose of this is building a character without cluster jewels. Normally, I would drop this section located right here. And by dropping this section, I would be going into a cluster jewel. But since I don't have them yet, um, I decided to take this HP route. And this HP route makes me like more viable for tanking T16 or sorry T17 content and potentially Ubers, which I'll talk about hopefully in another video if we can scale to there. The goal of what we're gonna try to do with this character, since I want to see if I can tackle Ubers in SSF, is using the Hateful Accuser Ring. If you guys played Wildwood, you'll remember the little guys that spawn out of Penance Mark, and then you can explode them. And then I know somebody has been doing it already, where basically you take. Defiled forces, you get a big ignite, and then you start spamming your curse to refresh the ignite, essentially. I don't know if I'm going to do that, or if I'm just going to try to get a cloak of flame and go full ignite duration, and just see if that's enough damage. But anyway, enough of that stuff. Let me go ahead and talk about my gear. So, I'm currently using a lightning coil. I don't really like using lightning coil. It is objectively tankier against physical damage, since it's 50% fizz taken as lightning instead of 40, right? However, on the flip side... The problem with coil is that the minus 60 lightning res makes gearing a pain in the ass. For example, I cannot use this coil if I take off my weapon, because my weapon has 45 lightning res. And without that lightning res, I can't run it. Normally with Chieftain, you just stack fire res, but coil just reduces your lightning so much that either you need a shit ton of fire res, like over 300%, for example, maybe a little more, or you have to sacrifice and start putting in some lightning res. This is causing problems because I cannot use my Immortal Flesh, for example. I can't change around my gear. So top priority is getting a new coil. Now, or not a coil, a uh, Cloak of Flame. Before we get started and talk about some more stuff, I'm going to go run a quick map for you guys so you can kind of see how the character clears in this variant. Um, got a lot of cool stuff, though. I'm pretty happy with it. I'd say overall, though, I'm not really happy about any of this character's gear outside of my shield, which I will show you guys in just a minute. Let's go with this. I'm currently running a Ritual Delirium Beyond Focused Atlas. Ritual is to pull Fractured Bases for crafting along with Gumball Currency and a bunch of other random stuff. Delirium just adds Monster Density, which kind of ends up making it easier to clear. And then uh, Beyond just adds more density to monsters, which makes it just, I don't know, it feels better. Uh, I'm a big fan of Beyond just adding den monster density and then just killing more and more and more monsters to eventually get loot. Technically, it's also not too bad because, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I do get Tainted Currency, and Tainted Currency is extremely strong for double corrupting. Basically, like, say I find multiple Cloaks of Flame, I could get them, like, 6 socket, 5 link, and then double corrupt, and if it's good, I could go for the 6 link with Tainted Fuse. So there's definitely some room here. It's definitely more endgame oriented SSF stuff. It's not really anything you would do during progression by any means. Speaking of progression, we have all four of our Void Zones. It's actually really smooth with this HP stack variant. You're just so tanky. Um, it's like actually kind of hard to die. Like there are obviously things that can hit you, but like or kill you. If I just like sit here and sip my coffee, I don't think we'll have any problem with the ritual. Okay, there is some detonate dead happening. Someone is using DD. DD is kind of toxic, so I'm just gonna figure out who is doing that. Outside of the DD, though, we weren't really taking damage. I love how PoE is like that. You know, hey guys, look how tanky I am. One shot. <clears throat> So speaking of the gear while we're doing this, my weapon is really bad, essentially just has a big fire multi and then I crafted increase, so I'm missing plus one gems. Plus one gems is really big because my purity of fire is only 22. Once my purity of fire goes 23, I have the option of dropping soul of steel here and this section. Um, the reason I want to do that is I could potentially go into scion, um, or I could decide to go into that cluster jewel as well if I actually find it, hence why we're farming delirium here, right? 
My helmet is okay. It's a conch burn helmet, but it has nothing else on it. It's got like accuracy and intelligence. Accuracy is normally okay in trade league because you could, with the, sorry, not accuracy, int. Because with the extra int, you could basically buy tattoos of the turtle, I think it's called, for reduced crit damage taken, which is a really nice stat when you're face tanking. But, you know, I'd rather get like fire res, life regen, chaos res. So I definitely need to craft a new helmet. Um, my shield will probably not change. It's got a uh, total of 140 life plus the base, so another 20 life. 5% life on block, 44 fire res, and 2 max fire res. That max fire res, along with the 1 max on my boots right now, since we don't have Uber Exarch boots, is allowing me to drop 3 points in max res. And of course, I just put those in more HP. So, speaking of more HP, you'll notice this character has every single life mastery. And this is part of the pivot of instead of going into a cluster, right, that's pretty much what I'm doing, is just dumping points into life masteries. Although I think if I'm going to dump points into life masteries, it is better to drop this and swing up into Scion Life Wheel. Because Scion Life Wheel can potentially give me options of a jewel later and another jewel here later. So I think that's the way to go. Um, overall, let's you can see here, this is like the problem with my single target in this setup. It's not really very good. Could be better, but it's limited in this. That's why the goal is to use that ring and see how much damage we can squeeze out of the ring. Um, the one that spawns the phantasms, right? So I can explode them. However, in small amounts of testing, what I have noticed that I don't like about that ring is that the phantasms can spawn rather far away from the target. So I will either have to combo this with like Void Sphere or maybe, um, uh, maybe I can just stack more AoE, but stacking more AoE means I'm not stacking as much life, so definitely something we're trying to figure out. I, I haven't really gotten to test it a lot yet because I can't get rid of the coil, so because I can't get rid of the coil, it's hard to test other interactions because my gear is so difficult to replace at the moment. Okay, speaking of the rest of my gear, my amulet is okay, but it has no plus one gems or no dot multi. So that's a lot of damage missing there. My boots are okay, but they do not have increased life regen as a suffix, so that's a big affix missing from them. My belt is pretty shit out of 10. It has a nice life roll, but it's missing pretty much everything other than the big life roll. So I'm trying to craft a leather belt right now. I would go with a uh, Immortal Flesh, and I do have one. It's just, yet again, Immortal Flesh is minus 20 res, and I cannot sustain that with a Lightning Coil. So the only way I can get rid of the belt right now is if I were to craft a, um, like an Elder Leather Belt, you can see on my website. That's kind of what I'm pushing into right now. Also, technically, Immortal Flesh is good, but an Elder Leather Belt, especially, uh, a Stygian Vice would be better, but an Elder Leather Belt in general. Um, Elder can hit life recovery and max life, so you can actually get flat life regen, percent life recovery, which is a multiplier, then you have your flat life roll, and then you have percent increased maximum life, and then you can catalyst it with fertile for 20% uh, all. This is stronger, 20% uh, of life mod, sorry. This is stronger than an immortal flesh in terms of HP. You should have like three to 400 HP if it's like fully crafted. Problem is actually crafting it, especially in SSF. Uh, over here, there's not really anything too special. I'm just gonna grab this and re-roll. Oh, there's an audience with the king. Cool. That's used for uh, getting that which was taken, but it's now horrendous pack. But yeah, grab some of these. Okay, so there's like a map there. You can pretty much see it. Very tanky, right? Very tanky, very relaxed, just like righteous fire should be. So. Going across my rings, um, both of these were crafted with Reforged Chaos over here at the Hordic Station. So pretty much just Chaos Res, Fire Res, Life, and then Increased Damage. This one I actually... Okay, yeah, same thing. I uh, Actually, I don't know how I crafted this one. I think I identified this. Because it doesn't have a Chaos mod. So, Or maybe I did Reforged Life, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, T1 Life and then the Intelligence is not helping me at all. So I, I do need to recraft a lot of my gear here. My gloves are pretty good. They got a Dexterity Roll, a Life Regenerate and a, um, a natural life roll with life regen suffix. So these are actually okay. We got ignite spread. I don't really want the fire leech. I would prefer to have increased damage per endurance charge or sorry, per strength, I think it is, but we just haven't gotten it yet. 
And then my boots, we already talked about, so that's pretty much the character. Um, going over my links, I know everyone always likes to ask, so... Shift Affliction, Trap in Mind, Fire Trap in my helmet. The reason it is not in my body is I need A, Awakened Burning Level 5, or a Corrupted Body Armor for Fire Trap. I don't have either of those. Punishment, Frost Blink, Life Tap. Um, Swift Affliction, this is just leveling, so this is an extra, extra socket right now. Uh, Tempest Shield, Flesh and Stone. Life Tap, Shield Charge, Faster Attacks, Enduring Cry. Level 1 Life Tap here, so we can trigger a 6 second Life Tap buff with the quality. Unbound Ailments, Skitterbot, Blood Rage, and Purity of Fire. The Unbound Ailments is a big damage multiplier for your Skitterbot. It makes the Shock value go up and the Chill value go up. Shock is a multiplier to all damage taken. And then we have Righteous Fire, Swift Affliction, LA Focus, Efficacy, Life Tap, and Burning Damage. Okay, so now that you guys saw that, let me go talk about the newest thing that we are doing to try to get a Cloak of Flame right now. And that is this character right here. This guy is also known as Givid Viz Gizdvid, and he is essentially trying to get us a Cloak of Flame. Now this character is fixed at level 18, and the reason why is Cloak of Flame drops off a Scholar Robe. The Scholar Robe is a very low base, so that means Cloak of Flame doesn't have a high level requirement. So I have already tried gambling about 130,000 coins here on Energy Shield bases, didn't get anything. I have farmed a div card called the body, and the body gives you, this is like what I'm going to try to do more of, the body gives you a uh, guaranteed unique body armor, so I made the level 18 character to redeem it on there, didn't get lucky, got bramble jacked, then I used like 20 ancient orbs, then I realized ancient orb doesn't actually fully care about the item level, it's about the drop level, it's always confusing with this thing, because I'm when I was ancient orbing I was getting body armors that required like level 30 or 40. Um, but, there's more, um, I also was doing bestiary, didn't get anything through there, so I'm gonna try to farm more body cards, but, so when it comes to the boats, it doesn't matter who sends out the boat, example, my level 98 RF guy, or my level 18, uh, Gifford, however, the person who redeems the rewards has it, is basically where the loot is fixed on. So when I click rewards, it's going to pull the item level based on this character. And the purpose of that is trying to get a Cloak of Flame here. So if you look here, these are a bunch of flasks. This is, uh, what is this? These are all like item level 18, right? No, I'm not pressing take all. I don't want all of this crap in my inventory. I just want some of it. Um, so nothing here really matters, right? So I will just discard that. See you later. And then we're going to click rewards here. And you can see there is a Sedima's Touch, for example. So that's a low-level unique. Uh, anything else here? No. Okay, we're just gonna discard. And then, last one. Here we go. Unlucky. Normally, I actually saw a lot more Energy Shield bases. I'm not seeing as much ES bases here, so... I wonder why that is exactly. And then I'm just going to poof that. And what I was doing here is actually sending Crimson Iron to Pondium. Because Crimson Iron has a good chance. Not a good chance. It, it does pull uh, energy shield bases. So I'll even send like 700. And I'm just going to send a little bit of currency here. Actually, what do they want? They want wheat anyway. So why not? And then I know they, they just now actually changed how dust works. So I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do with dust. Because I didn't read it fully. So I'm just going to send what I would normally send. And then that's pretty much about it. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Let me know in the comments below what type of videos you want to see. Uh, and then I can go ahead and start to work on those. Since, since I, I know when I'm in SSF, it's a bit more difficult to try to stretch the content here. So I'm going to catch you guys all later. Thanks everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv/box. See you guys all tomorrow. They're on their way.